Alright guys, today we're going to do a little video on top 10 things I hate about my Jeep Liberty CRD. So, one of the first things that I don't like about this car, and I'm sure that this isn't just the CRD, this is going to be all Liberty models, is this right here. Why are these in the middle and the center console? I get that it probably saves... A little bit of money from having to run wires to there and to there but I can't get used to it I drive a Volkswagen too and the Volkswagen ones are on the door like most cars um, I did have an HHR that had them in the center too and I wasn't too thrilled with that either that is the number 10 reason why I hate my Jeep we'll work our way back all right now this is gonna be our num my number nine thing that I hate about the CRD See if we can see this down here. See where that pedal is? It's like right here. If you look where the hump is on this, it's going to be kind of hard to see. It's a little dark down here. Let's see if I can add some light. There's the, there's the pedal. And then basically is when you have your foot on the gas pedal and you're trying to drive, let's see if you can see this. It's all good, basically. You know what I mean? You got your foot on the gas pedal. You can kind of see it through there a little bit. No problem. But when you're on cruise control, when you want to put your foot back a little bit, you can't because the hump for the transmission is in the way right here. And at least for me, it my foot hits it, and it's, like, not comfortable. I kind of have to have my leg way over here on the seat, which is, like, kind of sitting off to the side. If you can see where my foot... For me to sit straight up and down, I have to sit way over here. And it's kind of uncomfortable when you're trying to just relax and just drive on the highway. I mean, if you put your feet straight, it just, you can't really get your leg up and down straight. It's sideways like this. And I don't know. I don't really dig it. But hey, that's also uh, another thing I hate about my Jeep. Number eight reason I hate my Jeep is other Jeep owners that have Wranglers. And the Cherokees that came out before this, they tell me that this is a girl Jeep. It's not a real Jeep. But you know what? It's still trail rated. And it does really, really good off-road. I have no problems with this thing being 4x4 or anything like that. See that right there? Trail rated. I think they're just jealous that they're not turbo diesel. All right, one more thing that I hate about this Jeep is the auto-locking tailgate. You get out of the car, you come around back, you go to pull on the handle, and it doesn't open. If you don't have the keys on you, you got to go and hit the unlock button, or you got to hit the button on the key to pop this, and then you can open it. But I'm not a fan. I don't always have my keys, especially if I'm about to have my hands full grabbing stuff out of there, and I was just in the Jeep. It should be unlocked. But I guess it's a safety feature, I'm not sure. Not too pleased with it. All right, guys, we're up to number six here. And I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing at here. This is the A pillar. And it is fucking huge, especially towards the bottom there. Like, that's at least probably eight inches from here to here. That's massive. And if you're trying to four wheel, it's in the way you can't see you got to open the door and peek out or you got to roll your window down obviously it's not a wrangler so you can't fold the windshield down and take the doors off but i don't like it it's really big maybe better for safety but it's like pretty massive right there and that's all liberties not just my crd this just happens to be the one i have and i don't like it all right we're back outside the car now and Here's another thing I don't like. I don't like this gray plastic that they have here. I know that they had color matched ones, but on mine, it's not. It's gray plastic and it's on the doors and it looks cheap and the front bumper is made out of it and it's like loose and cheap looking and I really don't like it. It's a cosmetic thing more than anything, but I'm not a big fan of the gray plastic bumpers and fenders all over this. I know they had some chrome badges for the side and color matched for the other ones but I don't like it it's loose and mine's even got some cracks in it so we might be doing some upgrades there in the future but for right now 
not a big fan of it. And seeing how we're already back here, we'll go from the fenders to this rear mount spare tire. There is not enough room to put a trailer hitch on this when you have the tire on. And I've even flipped the mount to try and get a little bit more room. Doesn't seem to help. Um, essentially, every time that I want to put my trailer on, which is way back there, I have to take that tire off and put it in the back of the Jeep or put it in the trailer. Which, like, that's not fun either. Now, this is like this when I bought it, but I have a feeling that that hitch might possibly be upside down. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to check into that. I think you guys might know what I'm going to say next year. Automatic transmission, especially in a Jeep. Well, just essentially a Chrysler. I've had really, really bad luck with Chrysler transmissions in the past, and especially automatics. This kind of scares the crap out of me. The weak link on this whole powertrain of this Jeep is the torque converter, which is right smack dab between the engine and transmission. Not something I ever want to be doing. I really, really hope it lasts. Not happy with it. All right, one other thing that I really, really don't like about this Jeep is the EGR system. We already took care of it and fixed it on this one, but it was a pain in the ass of a job, and there wasn't a lot of information out there. Um, essentially, you're getting hot gases back into your intake, and I understand that they had to do it because of EPA regulations, but it sucks and is a bad idea. Which brings me on to the absolutely number one thing that I don't like about this Jeep, which I wish I would have known a little bit more about it before I bought it, but essentially, they're expensive to fix. The parts are expensive. There's no reliable mechanics that really know what they're doing. There is not a lot of information about these engines, uh, at least in English. Apparently they're Italian, so there's information in Italian, which incidentally I can't read. So that is one thing about this. If you plan on getting one, prepare to do your research. It's out there, but it's not easy to find. And, you know, despite all these problems that I've listed here, I wouldn't trade it for any other car that I could think of. This is one of the best running little Jeeps that it just chugs right along. And it sounds like a tractor while it's doing it. So, gotta love those diesel and those turbo noises. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really would like to try and see if we can hit 100 subscribers before the end of October. Oh, sun's in my eyes, sorry. 100 subscribers in the month of October. It's only the second, and we just got our 70th subscriber today so please hit that subscribe button if you're new i really really want to try and hit that uh, benchmark and uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos coming for you soon stay tuned